Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on speed, distance and time. Now speed is a concept that you're probably familiar with, uh, but you may never have considered what you're actually measuring uh, when you look at the speed of something. Uh, so speed is a measure of how far something travels in a given time period. So therefore to calculate the speed, uh, we divide the distance travelled uh, by the time taken. So common units for distance would be feet, uh, meters, uh, kilometers, miles, could be anything really. Uh, you just have to use what's given to you in the question. And with time, it could be seconds, minutes, hours. Uh, you probably wouldn't get given uh, time in days when you're dealing with a speed question. Uh, but like I say, you just have to use whatever's given to you in the question. So in terms of the units for speed then, uh, what we end up with uh, are units in terms of feet per second, meters per second, you could get uh, meters per minute, meters per hour, uh, but you'd more commonly see meters per second. Uh, you may be familiar with miles per hour, sometimes written MPH, or you could have miles per hour written out like this. Uh, same for kilometers, you get kilometers per hour or KMPH. There's quite a lot of units that you could see for speed, and that's because it's a compound unit, so it's made up of more than one unit. So all of this information and this particular formula uh, can be put together into a formula triangle. Uh, so what does that look like? Uh, well, I'll draw it down here. Formula triangle uh, just has speed in the bottom and time and distance on the top. So if I want to work out the speed, I just divide the distance by the time. Uh, so uh, if I want to work out the time, I just divide the distance by the speed. If I want to work out the distance, I multiply the speed by the time. Uh, so can put a multiplication symbol in there so that's what our pyramid or triangle looks like uh, for the speed distance and time formula so let's move on to have a look at some example questions uh, to see the formula in action so in this first example we're looking at calculating the speed so a truck travels 110 miles in two hours what is this average speed of the truck let's draw our triangle out again so speed equals distance divided by time uh, so we're after speed so we divide distance by time so if the distance is 110 miles and the time is two hours, then the speed is equal to 110 divided by two, which is 55. And now we've got the units in miles and hours. So our units for speed will be miles per hour or MPH, if you prefer to write it like that. Moving on to have a look at another example then, this time we're calculating the distance. So Jesse throws a ball that moves at an average speed of 35 meters per second and travels for a total of 4.5 seconds. Work out the distance traveled by the ball. But let's once again draw our triangle. So we have distance on the top, speed and time on the bottom. So this time we're working out the distance. So we multiply speed and time together. Uh, so uh, we have a speed of 35 meters per second. Uh, so that's S and we have a time of 4.5 seconds. So the uh, distance is just 35 times 4.5. So use our calculator. So that's equal to 157.5 meters. And it's meters because uh, the units are meters per second and seconds. So finally then, uh, example three is calculating the time. So a car travels at an average speed of 50 miles an hour. How long will it take the car uh, to travel 12.5 miles, give your answer in minutes. Okay, uh, so this is a bit more elaborate, this question. So once again, draw out our triangle. So we've got speed, distance, and time. Uh, so there we go. So we are after the time this time. Uh, so we get the time by dividing the distance by the speed. Now the distance is 12.5 miles. Uh, the speed is in miles per hour. So if we divide 12.5 uh, miles by 50 miles an hour so that's miles divided by miles per hour then we end up with if we put it in the calculator 12.5 divided by 50 0 0.25 hours okay but we're not there yet because the uh, question says give your answer in minutes and we've got an answer in hours so 0 0.25 uh, is the decimal equivalent of one quarter so it's a quarter of an hour, uh, so a quarter of an hour is 15 minutes, so the time is 15 minutes. 
Uh, so that's about all there is to this topic. So the best way to improve on this topic is just by getting loads of practice in. You can do so with our online exam. Uh, it's available through our revision platform and there's loads of different questions to have a go at in this exam uh, and you get instant feedback on all of them. So this is really useful if you want to keep track of your progress and find out which areas you need to improve on. Uh, so if you're interested and you want to take the test then you can click the link below it will take you straight there.